Swedish defense technology company Mildef has secured a significant contract worth 40 million Swedish kronor to supply ruggedized network equipment for BE Systems Haglund's CV-90 combat vehicles. This new agreement follows a previous 30 million Swedish kronor deal in December, highlighting Mildef's expanding presence in the military technology sector. The advanced hardware provided by Mildef will be integrated into the Clavister Cyber Armor System, an AI-driven, military-grade firewall designed to enhance cybersecurity for critical defense communications. This collaboration is part of a larger effort to fortify the digital resilience of CV-90 vehicles, ensuring secure data transmission even in high-risk operational environments. Mildef is set to commence serial deliveries of the ruggedized equipment in early 2027. As modern armed forces increasingly depend on secure digital networks, these enhancements will strengthen the CV-90's role in European defense. The vehicle, widely used by multiple nations, will benefit from the upgraded security infrastructure, reinforcing its effectiveness in contemporary military operations. Daniel Ljunggren, CEO and President of Mildef, underscored the importance of the partnership with Clavister. By combining our robust hardware with Clavister's cutting-edge cybersecurity software, we are setting a new standard for military digital security. Our joint efforts will contribute to the modernization and protection of European defense systems. John Vestberg, CEO of Clavister, echoed these sentiments, emphasizing the increasing demand for advanced cybersecurity solutions in military settings. As armed forces move toward greater digitization, the need for sophisticated cybersecurity measures becomes critical. MILDEF is the ideal partner to help us equip future defense capabilities with the highest level of security. This initiative aligns with Clavister's broader multi-year agreement with BE Systems Haglands to deliver cyber armor solutions for CV-90 vehicles deployed in both Scandinavian and Eastern European nations starting in late 2025. The collaboration reflects the growing priority of safeguarding military platforms against evolving cyber threats ensuring that next-generation defense technology remains resilient in the face of digital challenges.